Hi, today we are going to take a look at click dimensions in Dynamics 365. Last month we took a brief overview as we toured Dynamics 365 for marketing and learned about their lead scoring model. And I am a fan of the Click Dimensions product as well. So I wanted to put that into my demo environment and show you what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. So this is Click Dimensions in my Dynamics 365 environment. Uh, if you haven't seen it before in the new user interface, it works with multiple areas here in the bottom left hand corner of Dynamics. My home page is my planning area. So these are my CRM campaigns, my marketing calendar and intelligent dashboards if you subscribe to them. Beneath that we have the messaging area. This is where I can manage all of my emails, creating new emails. They do have the new drag and drop editor, which is a great WYSIWYG option for those of you who aren't writing your emails in HTML. I personally use the drag and drop. I find it extremely easy to use and create emails. Uh, once you've created your email, you can schedule them. You can manage your sent emails and see right from the view some high level KPIs on the emails that you've sent. So you can see here on these few, the number of emails sent, deliveries, opens, unique opens, clicks, et cetera. Um, underneath this are my campaign automations, my marketing calendar, my email statistics. Um, so this is going a little bit deeper than just that high level view on our email sent. Underneath that, you can manage SMS and your social posting. Now, the next area is web and events. So this is creating your web content and in click dimensions, your web content can be used on forms, in landing pages um, and on surveys. Underneath these different areas, you'll see there's also subscription pages so you can manage subscription lists and then web statistics. So this is great for any web traffic that is being monitored either through your messaging that you've created, or if you have it a tracking token on the web pages, that will lead up to this as well. Um, and then finally, you have your event management at the bottom. We've got your library, your audience. So this is defining who is going to receive your marketing. Click dimensions, like other marketing automation platforms, will run based on the people in your marketing list, which can be dynamic or static, of course. And click dimensions allows you to market to contacts, leads, or accounts, which is a little bit different than how Dynamics for Marketing is built. So the final thing I wanna to talk to you about today is this bottom area here, which is your click dimension settings, specifically lead scoring models. Now, the lead scoring model is extremely simple to configure. You're simply gonna click on this score settings area that we saw um, on the left-hand side here, kind of in the center. Um, and you're just going to select a point value for each of these actions. So if an email address, if a person has submitted a form successfully, you're going to give them 25. And if you need to change these at all, you can tailor them to your specific needs. So if I want to make that 50, for example, and maybe make the error worth uh, negative 10, I can change my visits if five is too high, bring my page views down. Um, once I'm done configuring my score settings, I click save. And then that is my new score model going forward. It won't retroactively change what's been done up until that point. Uh, but it, from that moment forward, you'll have that for your scoring model. So there we are, a brief four minute tour of click dimensions and how to configure your lead scoring model.